Welcome here. Thank you. Thank you. I've got really curious about this stuff behind the band and band's adventure. How you end up with this lifestyle? I decided to travel and I want to travel long uh, without a lot of costs. So I came to, to the bike with the solar panel charging the, the electric bike. So I'm self-sufficient in distance and in speed. And then as I had the trailer, I had some room in the back. My main, main sports are kite surfing and free diving. And these two I have with me, with my tent and with like a winter sleeping bag, winter clothes, summer clothes, because I'm away from for unlimited time. So the bike is a high speed, the normal Koha World Traveler uh, trekking bike. Mm -hmm. And then the motor, the whole system is built afterwards. This is my throttle. This is my display where I have a lot of interesting So you check your things. Instagram there? Yeah, <laughs> text messages, uh, <laughs> website visitors. Um, this is my control for the, for the motor, mm -hmm. where I put in the watts, how many watts I want to give to it. W what do you use usually? Okay. To 220, 330, 330, something like that. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah. if your motor is much more powerful? Yeah, it is a thousand watt. Yeah, yeah, but I don't need to know much more power. Well, when you use that power? Going uphill. Uphill, Perfect. uphill or uh, rough terrain, and it's actually made for uh, cargo bicycles. It has a, a lot of interesting features like a throttle, uh, regeneration brake. This is the controller. This is the where everything happens, where the throttle comes in and then it gives the signal to the motor. So battery, obviously, very big, powerful motor. I made so stronger to to connect the, the tow bar to the frame itself. Professional looking box, huh? This is a watertight professional uh, pro box. Two panel, solar panels coming in. Then I have here coming out my charging one USB, professionally put together. <laughs> and for a second USB, for two other USB boxes, I can also put this. And then the transfer for the for the fridge. Volt. Again, going from 48 volts to 12 volts. Use it more as a cool box than mm. as a fridge. I have two times 200 watts to, to charge a battery. Is it enough? It is more than enough on sunny days. On clouded days, I can manage. I go a bit slower, a bit uh, less distance. It's not charging so much when I cycle because you, you change directions the whole time. Mm. You have cars passing, you have buildings, trees. The, the power is, is fluctuating a bit too much to have a good charge. The best charge you get when you get it, when you have a break, when you put it in the sun, and then it's going very, very quick. My average is around 20, but I can get around 30, 35 on very good roads. And when you start to break, what's happening? So I have, uh, there's a, a magnet here that uh, is controlling the regeneration brake. So the moment I want to break a little bit, I just touch the lever. The pads are not yet touching, but the motor is already braking. And that gives me sometimes downhill until 300, 400 watts of power going back to the battery. And then when I really need to break, of course, I just break uh, front and back and s try to stop. Downhill it's sometimes difficult to stop <laughs> because of the weight is really pushing yeah. but it's... Uh, so basically it's, once you go down the hill you charge completely your battery. It's going yeah, yeah, yeah. very very quick yeah, yeah 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 very nice. This booster this is uh, like the magical part that makes the 24 volts from the solar panels makes it 48 volts to the battery and makes it also special for charging. Uh, this is a roof basically for electricity or? Yeah, the, the boosters itself are waterproof. The connections I made myself. So yeah, they are more or less waterproof. Creative, creative. <laughs> but uh, indeed the panels is great. The panels are covering everything. So everything stays nice and dry. I wanted to keep my hobbies. Kiting harness, two kites with a belt underneath my board. That's my winter sleeping bag for when it's very, very cold. Minus 27, Jesus. <laughs> I hope you're not traveling with that temperature. <laughs> this is a bit of everything. Uh, summer sleeping bag, food store, small things, toothbrush. Ah, and here under, I almost forgot, these are my free diving vins. My automatic light, okay. connected to the dynamo in front of the bicycle. Long wetsuit, short wetsuit, boots. Gloves, tent, mat, little mat for under the tent. My shoes, getting some air, <laughs> very important. 
duct tape. Very interesting. <laughs> I think with that thing you just you can scary. make the, the have, whole. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. It's worse. I have these things, so <laughs> <laughs> zip ties and tape. How many kilometers you cycled already? Uh, a little bit more than eleven thousand. Do you have a goal in your mind? No, not, not really. I and actually it's quite easy because I just cycle every day a bit. Sometimes hundred kilometers, sometimes less, sometimes more. So your average but is about hundred. Ninety to ninety to hundred, yeah. Uh, bicycle uh, yeah. engine, uh, yeah. solar yeah, panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything costs money and. Yeah. Uh, when you want to buy some food and so you come to, to the, the supermarket, grocery, yeah, yeah. yeah what, you just arrive there and what you do, you just leave it, you have a lock, you have a chain, you have a, I don't know, I, GPS system or are you not afraid that someone just take all these goodies and uh, drive away? I have a lock, two locks on my bike, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm not really afraid that people are going away with it because you have to know how to get away with it. Ah, so you need and to. it is so heavy that you just can't quickly uh, go away and then concerning everything on the bike it's all coupled together and then tight it's not easy to get it out uh, so even for you huh? even for me <laughs> so uh, because I don't want to lose it on the road I, I also decided not to worry about that because if you worry each time you go into a grocery mm. store and each time you leave your bike yeah, that's a lot of worrying. Yeah, yeah. Because nightmare, huh? And, and yeah, then it's not good for your heart, not good <laughs> for your health. So I decided only to, uh, to only to worry the moment something is gone, and then see what is gone and what it cost, and see, and then worry at that moment. Don't I think worry. you need to be quite fit to to even steal this thing. Do you know yeah. the total weight of all your setup? My trailer is uh, around 100 kilos, completely. Mm filled like that and the bike is 50 kilos with the motor and the bags oh. so the, the whole trailer is 150 so oh, with me weight, on it eh? it's 220 around when you come to Pisa Tower <laughs> and uh, people take more pictures of you with a bicycle over the Pisa Tower how do you feel about that people appreciate it people see it as, as something really adventurous something new people invite me just to have a coffee just to have a to, to put the tent in their garden or they cycle with me a lot of people have just they come along with me and then they ask where I have to go and they just go for, for 10 15 20 kilometers talking with me so uh, you, you always have support team with you <laughs> yeah 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 it's it's great it's uh, just amazing also uh, then I get local information where to go the great. most friendly nation so far that's uh, very difficult because in every country people have been very very friendly the reactions are 99.9% .9 positive it's a good percentage yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. If someone will decide okay tomorrow I'm gonna cycle the same way live the same style kind of lifestyle and what will be the cost just to start the bicycle with completely with motor and uh, electricity completely installed is around uh, 4,000 euros and the trailer if you I made most of it myself so mm. and the guy who welded it for me did it for free nice. thanks to marine techniques <laughs> and not to forget fitscarxl.be for the trailer ID oh, okay. the trailer if you would build it like that I think thousand thousand five hundred euros oh, okay. empty trailer with the solar panels and electricity oh, with the solar panels Inclu yeah included. yeah oh, yeah, okay. yeah solar okay. panels are around I bought them around 200 per piece and the booster is also 200 per piece so that's like 800 and okay, then okay. Uh, yeah and around five fifteen hundred to get so for like five thousand six six thousand euro like six thousand yeah. euros you'll get this, the safe uh, side. Yeah. if you have only one thousand euro instead of four thousand euro would you be able to pull out something uh, similar to travel, maybe less powerful, less beautiful? Um, with one thousand euro, uh, two thousand. Yeah, two thousand. You could, it's it's. You could easily make a, a restricted version of it. Smaller panels, lighter motor, same battery perhaps, but everything shorts and and then could become smaller. So it would be. It's, it's perfectly possible, yeah. I'll take some toys, I have some space, mm. I need the space for the solar panels, I need space for the toys, so everything together makes it a... Yeah, I'm very happy with... Uh, so what uh, about wild camping? Is it hard in Europe in general? No, no, no. Um, I haven't had any problems. Mm. 
it's been quite easy but of course I, I started that in, in, in Scandinavia where it's allowed mm. so you can do it there so you can enhance your technique to find a good spot like just out of sight and then mm. but not only out of sight but I want to keep an open side to the east so in the morning my panels charge when I'm not already ah. out of my bed when I'm still sleeping I <laughs> so you have some strategic calculations yeah there, yeah like. yeah yeah I have to find out the place well sheltered but open to the east side and not too much okay, okay. view from the street because yeah, so, usually uh, when you camp you think like where the wind is blowing so just to keep the tent but here a deeper analysis kind it's of, another right? it's another game <laughs> what, what's your modifications go far on the, the idea of having um, suspension in the on the trailer we didn't make suspension because we didn't have the time to to test and to do and and the first idea also was that the more loose parts the more uh, chance of breakdown so that's why it's rigid put the two panels on top of each other in the middle that would make and then when I stop open them to charge fully and that would make my trailer like almost half a meter a meter shorter so that would make a maneuvers a bit more comfortable and there is no problem with the wind blowing uh, no because it's quite flat, flat I time. haven't had a lot of problems with the uh, wind I have to tighten them sometimes to get the uh, just to break a bit uh, the play of the solar panels how do you usually eat it's not like you do eat every all the time in the restaurants or you, no you no kind of cooking? Uh, generally breakfast is just cereals and then some bread and Nutella <laughs> for lunch and then in the evening depends on the country how expensive it is uh, I go for dinner or I go for lunch. In Scandinavia, I ate a lot of pasta with red sauce, indeed. And then in Slovenia and Poland, it was like eight euros for lunch, for chicken with some fries and some vegetables. So then, then I just go eating. If you consider on wild camping every, every night, then the budget is just for food. If it's raining two days and it's, it's bad weather, I need a shower, I need to be inside for the night. Then, then of course, it's more difficult. If you didn't have kite surf with you. Yeah. Would you, get, would you go for a smaller version of your yeah, setup? Yeah, 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 certainly. Yeah. The size of the setup is for your desires, for your needs of... Uh... No, it, it, it follows the, the solar panels actually, and the solar panels could be a little bit smaller. I ordered smaller ones, but they, they had only one uh, in stock, and then they offered me this two bigger ones for the same price, so... <laughs> I couldn't refuse that, so that's why they're uh, quite big. But I'm happy with it. So the winter is coming. Yeah. It's not Game of Thrones, but it's real <laughs> stuff. What's your itinerary? Where are you planning to go? I'm now planning to winter like the old people in, uh, in south of Spain or Portugal. And perhaps cross to Morocco. You never know. If people want to follow your trips, where should they go to? They go, can go to sunbiker.com. And there you have also my lead on, on Instagram. Uh, mm. And uh, it's not a day-to-day uh, diary, but it's the stories, uh, the encounters, the adventures. I read a couple uh, of them, really interesting stuff. Eh? So we wish you safe travels and all the best, man. Thank you very much. We'll keep in touch. Yes, yes. Nice meeting. I guess the important one is to travel, no matter what you're using, or yeah. it's a camper yeah, yeah, van, yeah. or it's a bicycle, or it's a walking. It's all great. You can all find your... Uh, Works well for everything, huh? I hope you liked the video and learned something new. Definitely not a lot of bicycles on the road like this. And once you see one, you will turn around to have a second look. I would prefer to have normal bicycle with couple of bags, minimalist style, and rent things on the way. But if you want to travel with your own gear, then this is perfect. You put all gear on the trailer and you are ready. Once you have a trailer, why don't you put solar panels on top and charge your battery so you could travel a bit longer? You decide. See you in the next video. Peace.